something for your child run. Merbats go for your class, for your scouts for classes. Okay. Uh, I think you heard the whole rig and roll swing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. There's Pope. Hi, Pope. We go, boys. No, that's a song. Buddy Cat. Here's Ryan and Jeff. Here's the farm job, the old brown cow. Here's the farm job, the tough farmer job. The old milk man, she sucked it up again, 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 in the farmer's yard, the old brown cow, in the farmer's yard, in the farmer's yard, the old brown cow, in the farmer's yard, 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 in the Staff. <laughs> Throwing hey, bags at each other. Those cost seventy dollars. Please don't throw them around. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Does it work? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. This week we're going to be running the Frontiersman program. That's why we're wearing these funny looking costumes. Um, this Thursday, for those who participate, there's rendezvous. At rendezvous, each of you guys who participate and earn your trapper, you get to throw top pots, shoot muzzle loaders, have a good time up at rendezvous. And we'll be on the do it. So, if you have any questions about how to become a trapper, you can come to me. Go to your commissioners and get the requirement sheets, or your senior patrol leaders can pick them up and see the patrol leader. Thanks.
time of year. Yeah, yeah it is. How's it going around here? Oh, it's going good. Just sitting here whittling. Hey, Ryan, have you seen my dog, Blue? Yeah. My prize uh, Irish setter? Blue. Yeah, old Blue died. Blue died? What happened to Blue? We well, got him some of that charred horse meat. You know, charred horse meat, it'll do it every time. Charred horse meat? What charred horse meat? Well, after the barn burned down, the next morning, Old Blue walked over there and got into some of that charred horse meat. You know, that's where that horse lives. The next morning, Old Blue, he died over too. You know, charred horse meat, it'll do it every time. You mean my prize horses? Gone? Yeah, they were uh, sitting in the barn when it, when it burned all the way down. Your horse was sitting in there, and the next morning, Blue walked right over there and got some of that charred horse meat. You know, it'll do it every time. What happened to my barn? Well, I think a spark from the hay field ticked over and landed on the roof. And it just kind of started up there, started a fire going, and on down and burned it. That horse, you know, he likes to be in there at night. He burned on down to the next day, old blue walked over there, he got some of that charred horse meat. You know, it'll do it every time. My prize grain field's gone? Burn up? What, ha what happened? Well, a spark from the mansion blew over, and you know how that wind gets to kicking up, and pretty soon it went through that grain field, and the spark landed up on the roof, started right at the top, started burning down. That horse, he hangs out in that barn quite a bit, and he burned down too, and the next morning, Old Blue walked over there and got some of that charred horse meat. You know it'll do it every time. <laughs> My prize mansion on the hill, what happened? How'd that burn down? Well, I reckon somebody kicked over a candle at the funeral, and it got the curtains on fire. And a spark got over to that grain field. You know how that wind gets to kick. And pretty soon that grain field was a fire and went on the top of the barn and it started to burn it down. You know, and that horse, if he's in there and it's burning down, well, he burned down too. Next morning, old Blue walked on over there and got in some of that charred horse meat. You know, it'll do it every time. Funeral? Who died? Well, your mom died. And the next morning, I guess somebody kicked over a candle at the funeral and started the curtains on the fire and up they went went over to the grain field. That wind, you know how it blows around here, got that grain field going and sparkling it up on the roof of the barn and started burning down from there. And that horse, he was in there too. He burned on down the next morning. Old Blue walked over there and got some of that charred horse meat. You know it'll do it every time. How did my mom die? Well, her heart, not like it used to be. And when your wife ran off of that Selden guy, she just couldn't handle it. She fell on down dead. And at the funeral, somebody kicked it over a candle and Close the curtain, you know, and it blew over to the grain field. That wind really gets to kick around here sometimes. It burned over and the spark landed up on the barn. The barn burned down. That horse lives in that barn. The next morning, Old Blue got him some of that charred horse meat. It'll do it every time. <laughs>
if our eyes were closed and our lashes froze, so though sometimes we couldn't see. It wasn't, it wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. That very night, as we lay packed tight in our ropes beneath the snow, the dogs were fed and the stars are ahead were dancing heel and toe. He turned to me. Cab says he, I'll cash in this trip, I guess. And if I do, I ask that you won't refuse my last request. Well, he seemed so low that I couldn't say no, that he says with a sort of moan. This is cursed cold. It's got right hold till I'm chilled with him through the ball. I think being dead is the awful dread of the icy grave that pains. So I want you to swear the dollar fair to cremate my last request. Well, pal's last need is a thing to eat, so I swore I would not bet him. We started on the streak of dawn, but man, he looked ghastly. He was crouched in the sleigh, and he raved all day in his home in Tennessee. Before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left except me. And there wasn't a breath in that land of death, and I hurried, horror-driven. But the corpse half hid that I couldn't get rid because of a promise to him. was lashed to the sleigh, and it seemed to say, I may tax your brawn and brain. But you promised true, and it's up to you to cremate this last piece. Well, the promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were dumb, and my heart how I cursed that road. The long, long nights by the lone fire lights, while the huskies, round and ring, held out their woes to the snows, and man, how I rode that day. And every day, that quiet clays. But I and I went when the dogs were spent, the grub was getting low. The trail was bad, and I felt half mad, but I swore I would not be. And I'd often sing to that hateful thing, and hearkened with a grin. Until I came upon the marge, Lake La Barge. A derelict there lay. It was jammed in the ice, but I saw it at times. It was called the Alice May. I looked at it, I thought of it, and I looked at my frozen chum. Then here, said I, with a sudden cry, is my crematorium. Some planks I tore from the cap floor, and I lit that boiler of fire. Some coal I found just lying around, and I lit that fuel higher. The furnace roared, and the flames just soared, such a blaze you saw them see. Then I went, burrowed a hole. It was blowing coals. And I stuffed in Sam McGee. Then I made a hike, for it didn't like to hear him sizzle so. The heavens scowled and the huskies howled. The wind began to blow. And it was icy cold. That hot, hot sweat rolled down my cheeks and I don't know why. And a greasy smoke. And an inky cloak went streaking down the sky. I don't know how long I wrestled with the grizzly fear. The stars just came out and they danced about. There again, I met you here. I was sick with dread. That break was in. I'll just take a peek inside. Guess it's cooked. It's time I look at the door. Why? And there sat Sam, all cool and calm, in the heat of the furnace roar. He wore a smile that you could see for a mile. He says, Please, cold, sad door. It's fine in here, but I greatly fear you'll let in that cold and storm. Since I left Plum Tree back in Tennessee, it's the first time I've been. There's strange things done in the midnight sun, but men who moil the cold. And the Arctic trails have their secret tales that make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen strange sights, but the strangest they have been seen. It's the night on the march, like the march, I agree with the same thing. Strange and obey the scout on the side. Here in Camp Maple Hill, we live by only one set of laws. Laws that each of you learns. During your week here, as a camp director, I have two requests of you. Number one, remember those laws and live by them. And number two, during this week, have a lot of fun. Thank you.
the midst of the lake. There were many people, many people in canoes and boats. Oh yes, there was many. There's Rita being chatted up by some guy, as usual. Hello, Rita. Smile, Rita. Smile. Well, I'm that off right now. I have no idea. Make every effort to live by the high ideals of the Scout Oath. Your success is a measure of your honor. As a scout, you must hold your honor sacred. Family and religious leaders teach you to know and love God, the, the ways in which God can be, and the ways in which God can be served. As a scout, you do your duty to God by following the wisdom of those teaching teachings in your daily life and by respecting the rights of others to have their own religious beliefs. And my country. As you study our hundred as you study our country's history, learn about the men and women who, who toiled to make America great. Both contributed contributed in quiet ways. Others sacrificed their lives for our country. All of them did their part to build the nation we know that we have today. Help keep the United States strong by obeying its laws. Learn about the system of government and your role as a citizen and a future voter. Do all you can to help your fam help our family and neighborhoods live happy, productive lives. The land itself is, a, is an important part of our nation's her national heritage. Work for the conservation of our natural environment. Teach others to respect your land. Your effort, your effort really make a difference. And to obey the scout law. The 12 points of the scout law are the rules of scouting. There are also rules you can apply to your whole life. The scout law sets forth the ideals to live up to. By using the scout law as a guide, you will know you are always doing your best. Others will respect you for the way you live. Most importantly, you will respect yourself. When you help someone, you help yourself. When you help when there's aid needed, then you help when there's aid needed, you help people that are in trouble. By doing a good turn daily, you help contributing your part to the world. To keep myself physically strong, take care of your body. That means of eating nutritious food and being active to build strength and endurance. Mentally awake, develop your mind, strive to increase your knowledge and make the greatest use of your abilities. Be curious about the world around you. Learn all you can both in class and beyond school. With an open attitude and a willingness to ask questions, you will get the most possible out of life. Play straight. To be a person of strong character, guide your life with honesty, purity, and justice. Your relationship with others should be honest and open. Respect and defend the rights of all countries. Be clean in your speech and actions and faithful in your religious beliefs. The values you follow as a scout will help you become virtuous and self-reliant. Thank you. And come on, come one, come all, to the great house of freaks of the Troop 795. In this corner, we have the dreaded two-headed dog, born with only one head. <laughs> and in this corner, we have ye old Esquilax, a horse with the head of a rabbit and the body of a rabbit. <laughs> but our greatest freak of all, so frightening, he replaced the five foot man eating chicken, the ugliest man who 
come from my troop? <laughs> Sir, have you ever seen me before? Yes. Have we just read out of time for that question? <laughs> Go right ahead. Oh! Okay, one final person to meet Sir Pinder!
Danny, get this one, man.
got an empty chair next to you. So we're like, slide it behind you. Slide it back. Here we go. Yeah, right next to you. 